enjoy spending time in the presence of God. You know, I personally have moved beyond, you know, needing to meditate in the Bible and using the Bible at all, because then you've got to figure out what the Bible means. Um, and it's quite complicated to be deconstructed from all the things we think it means. So God could be trying to speak to us. And actually what we're hearing is what we thought we were going to hear when he spoke. You know, so we've got to allow him the room to begin to speak to us in different ways. Therefore, what I would tend to do is relax, sometimes having some very gentle meditative music on in the background can help the, with distractions. For me, I, I've never really done that personally myself. Generally, I just close my eyes and I relax. I relax my body. I relax my mind. So I put all the thoughts that I had out of the way and I focus my thoughts just thinking purely about the father or thinking purely about Jesus. It might be thinking about some aspect of love or whatever it might be, but I just focus there and come to a place of rest once I've stilled my thoughts. And then I just open my heart, open my mind and allow him to communicate. It might be a thought. It might be a picture. It might be a vision. It might go into an impression. It could be just knowing. And for me, yes, I had visions that I would describe as very visual encounters, but I don't know whether they were visual or not because they weren't visual in the normal sense of the word that my eyes were open and I'm looking at something and light is bouncing off that thing. I'm receiving the light into my eyes, focusing it on my lens and retina and eventually you know, the optic nerve takes the electrical impulse to the brain and the brain sorts it all out and shows me a picture. Well, when I was seeing spiritually, I'm obviously not really seeing light of that wavelength, but I might be picking up light at a different wavelength of a spiritual wavelength that my senses are tuning into and then my brain interprets. So everything that you see, feel, sense, know, taste, touch, smell ends up as electrical impulses in the brain and your brain has got used to some of those electrical impulses and they're familiar to you so a particular smell or a particular taste you know what it is now my daughter's you know likes cooking and she has things that she has and they're like things i'd never heard of and she said oh, well this is this or this is that you know i thought well sweet sour savory salty whatever they're the general taste well it, she's added a few more to my vocabulary um in which there are sort of things I never really have ever thought about or saw or knew. Therefore, I didn't have a reference point for it. So when she got me to taste it, I'm like, what is this taste? Is it like a savory taste? Is it like, and she said, well, this is this, or this is that, you know? Um, so it's the same in the spirit realm. We just need to learn to filter out all of the noise to receive the information that the father is communicating to us and now if that is okay i'm stepping into the realms of heaven ascending into the realms of heaven i'm there i'm on my throne or i might be in before the ark of you know in, in the holy of holies or whatever it might be i am receiving the information of the sensory experience that i'm having but i'm journaling it with my eyes open so I'm not seeing it, but I am seeing it. So I'm not seeing it in the normal sense of what you think of seeing as well, my eyes are closed and I'm having this amazing Hollywood production video that I'm looking at, I'm there. So I'm not looking third person at something. I'm there and I am experiencing being there and I'm recording what's happening in that experience because my, my mind, consciousness, has learned to decode the information that I'm receiving spiritually into something that now I can describe visually with or with understanding. But I, I couldn't honestly say that I am seeing it in the way that you would normally think or in the way that you're trying to see it. So I would, you know, so try not to try and see just enjoy being in the presence of God and see what opens up and see how you receive. So talk to him and see what comes back. 
ask him to unveil or reveal something to you and see how that comes to you because knowing for me is a much higher easier realm to engage than trying to figure out trying to see in a visual sense or see third person and see myself doing something as if i'm observing i'm not observing i'm there so i'm receiving information from being there and i've learned to decode it and then describe it so i would encourage you you know to to relax first of all don't put your preconceived desires onto the way god communicates with you or how you perceive or receive because perception is the key at the end of the day and the word even the word see is can mean to perceive i see or which means i know i understand i get it and the main thing is for you to get it rather than the way you get it and i know so many people and i think particularly because i think it was pushed a lot in the early days well, you, you need to see it. And if you don't see it, you can't have it. And I know Ian Clayton was very persistent on pushing the seeing, but we've no idea what he sees or how he sees. He just shares what he says he's seen. But I don't know whether that's like a, a visual thing, like I'm seeing, looking at the screen right now. I don't know. And I, and I don't think he could probably tell you either because it's just the way he engages. The same with me most of what it is is a knowing my perception comes from having been there many many times engaging and then i just sense and share what i'm sensing and feeling and engaging and all my emotions are quite often involved sometimes i feel intensely emotional when god's love touches me and i sense it emotionally and it's like waves of something rolling over me which is just wave upon wave and it's like whoa now if i try and analyze it or figure it out it's so much harder to receive it. So I know left brain people want to figure it out and have the protocol and know how to do it. But actually, this is more relational. So allow the relationship to develop the way God wants it to develop with you. When it comes to, to doing that, for me, it was I laid down my agenda. It was just I'm going to spend time in the presence of God, not to try and see, not to try and hear, just to be. And then I use the pictures of, for me, lying down in green pastures with the shepherd by quiet waters. That was my go-to. And every night when I go to sleep, I engage my soul in the garden of my heart, in green pastures, quiet waters with the shepherd for the restoration of my soul. And I just go to sleep and my spirit is free available for god in the realms of heaven but my soul is resting in the presence of the father the shepherd who is guiding me directing me restoring me making me whole and i just trust and sometimes i wake up um, and in that point of waking up sometimes there's a, a glimpse of something that you can grasp hold of and remember and sometimes there are things come to me and Sometimes there are things that I've, that I've done in the spirit that come to me. And sometimes the things that have happened in the soul and sometimes not at all, but that's okay. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.